Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we are here with a build guide for Akasha Kaguya. So being able to pull for her today and test her out the whole day. Um, I have some info for you guys that you might be interested in how how to build her of course. But before we go to the build guide, I'd like to ask you guys to please support my channel. And if you think that the information that you're getting from the videos that I have give you value, please support by subscribing. And moving on to, again, Akasha Kuguya. Let's see the details first of her kit. Before you look into um, what you have, I would suggest you check out the recommended, uh, what do you call this, recommended uh, gear or logistics, a weapon or logistics that is recommended here. You may actually follow this as you have more of the logistics and weapons. This one is going to be, uh, there are very various recommendations here, purple and orange variant. So this one is actually in a banner, in a limited banner. So you may get this. This is Pine Aurora. Ideally, um, Weapon should be the same element as the, what they call this, as the hero or the character. We'll go into that in a while, but these are your recommendations. But if you don't have these, let me recommend some of the things that is an alternative to building her. So for your weapon, I would suggest, um, let's go to, again, if you have... If you want to summon for this weapon, this is the best weapon for her. This is Frost Damage. This has the same stats as the weapon that I'm currently using, which is of orange variety. This is Pine Aurora. This one has Frost Damage, and this is geared towards her kit. So this is, um, as you can see, full squad damage, 3%, 5 seconds each time the support skill hits. So if you're using her as a support, this is your ideal weapon for her. So let's go back to the character. So that is the ideal weapon. Right now, I have the Star Ocean. It's a 5-star weapon. Same stat, but different um, add-on features. So increase skill damage to 21%. But this is also okay. Whatever you do, um, what I'm saying is for any of the weapons, it should be at least um, have an increased skill. It should more or less have... Or th these are ores, okay? It's, it, it's not really mandatory that all of them are in one gun. But either increased skill, ballistic damage, um, same element as the character themselves so that you'll not, you'll, you won't have any problem if you go to the logistics. Okay, what I mean with logistics is some of the logistics here, like for example, what I'm using for her right now because I don't have the recommended, um, the recommended uh, logistics characters. I'm using this one. So I have Argo Squad, which is... Uh, increases thermal frost and electrical type ballistic damage of 32%. When they say ballistic damage, this pertains to your gun. Okay, so if your gun has the same element as the character, both of them would benefit from this. So that is what I'm saying initially. So this is the, the what do you call this, the, the logistics that I'm working on or I'm equipping. So ballistic damage here increase. So let's go all three of them are in the same Argo squad, so there is no difference. So if you complete um, two or three of the same squad, then you'll get, uh, this is for two, this is for three. If you're only equipping one, you'll only get the talent up here, not the squad bonuses. Okay, um, one item to note as well, if you don't have the Argo, this is what, what I'm equipping, um, uh, Kaguya. You could also equip this. This is not bad as well because Blacksmith Squad increases attack, uh, active skill damage of 16 and 32 with the same Thermal Frost Electric type damage. So this one is also going to be helpful to you based on the Frost element alone. So also, if you don't have the purple variety and if you want to use 
um, a blue variety because it's really scarce for logistics. This one, the Ulster Squad, is also good. These are easy to get, increase attack by 12, and ballistic damage by 18. So this will really focus more on your gun. So those are my suggestions. Again, the, um, the logistics is really dependent on what you want to build them. Mine is just a suggestion on the logistics and what benefit they will have on the character themselves. Okay, so... We're done with weapon logistics for manifestation. Of course, this is just a copy of uh, of what do you call this of the character. So it's hard to get copies of the character. So as you level up the character, if you have um, reached this one, the next one would be AOE of Kagan Moondart by 50%. So it's, a, it's an increase. So this will take time with copies. But Neuronics, guys, is a key in building your heroes. Okay? So, more or less, you might want to consider um, the character themselves. Like, for example, for Kaguya. Are you going to use her as a, as a support or as your primary, um, primary character in the middle? Or do you want to use really to shoot and to to shoot active skills in your ultimate so you have to consider those before you prioritize your neuronics for me i wanted to prioritize her for the support role so definitely i will be going with moon halo this one is for support this one i really love this together with um, with uh, life the five star life I really love it because it complements life because life is my primary. So what I did was for Moon Halo, I already upgraded control. So Kagan Boondark can suck nearby uh, targets toward it. That is the plus. The next one for Moon Halo would be to follow the hit target. So if a hit target moves them, the darts follow the, the dart follow them in a circle. Okay, so this will be your priority if she is going for uh, you're going for a support for her role. But if you're going to use her as a primary, you have to choose either this one, the active skill, or below is the ultimate skill for priority. Based on what I've been using her for, if she is the primary, I would often be using this as a defense around her the hover is our darts moving around her but this one is actually special as well the ultimate because this one has a wide wide area wherein if there's a mob let's say um afar then this could really deal a lot of damage and could clear a lot of area so again if you if you prefer a defensive um, you know, uh, primary, then you go for this one. This one would really have a defensive, um, uh, like a rotation around her, striking enemies. I would actually prefer you guys to upgrade both for control and duration, the Lunar Eclipse Cluster, because this one can also suck um, enemies to the middle. You can combo this with a lot of skills, that is why I've been using this one, um, the Moon Halo Cluster for defense, to suck up the middle as well. This also um, improves it. And also this one increases the duration. This one helps because the longer the duration of the ultimate, the more damage that they can deal. So I would actually go for this one. The longer duration, not usually the, 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 the moving around, but the duration itself would give you additional damage for her ultimate. So again, just to recap, if you want her to be more of a supporting role, then go for the Moon Halo Cluster. You upgrade control. And for, um, for your primary, you can actually upgrade her ultimate. The duration will give her ultimate additional damage. So that is what you go for guys but again if you commit a mistake there's a reset here this is only one is to one so you can reset i think only once 
for this one. So please make sure if you do create a mistake, you can only reset once. So please make up your mind once you upgrade these because they are hard to reverse. Okay, so that is it, guys, for Kaguya. Basically, she is a very all-around unit. Can be used for primary and for and as a support character. And as far as pairing her with anybody, um, it's actually correct. You can pair her with anybody. She has a she has a fabulous support uh, skill. And she could be used as a primary as well if you choose. I she combos well with um, she combos well with uh, what they called it with Je, with uh, Chen Xing because Chen Xing has a what they call this has a has a skill where uh, there are air uh, there are pods you can actually suck all of those enemies into those pods to to to, to deliver damage so. It would require Moon Halo. Again, for Moon Halo to suck enemies, you would need this one. Okay, so that is it, guys. Again, hopefully this video was informative. Um, again, if you have comments to this video, and uh, please do subscribe if you find the information in this video very informative. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.